What's up guys, this is Stu with Freedom Fabrication. So tonight we got a reamer in the shop. We've got a piece of pipe welded on the end of this reamer. We got our rollers tacked to the table so that we can spin it while we weld it. This is what the customer wanted. So this piece screws into the shank of the reamer. And the reason they're doing that is because it's, you can see these bite marks here. They actually have a hydraulic machine that will bite down on this. And it's supposed to come apart right here where this crack is. It's supposed to unscrew right here and then you can spin a new one of these in. But they put it in their machine and bit down on this and you can see that it was not budging. So, he wanted me to screw this in and weld this out, gouge this out and weld it out. And then I gotta hard face it, and I gotta add four teeth in line with the existing teeth. So there's quite a bit of work here to do. We're gonna get preheating it and get rolling. Okay, so I've got the new shank piece all tacked up, ready to weld out. We're gonna gouge this one out, get it welded out, go from there. We're gonna run one more in there and then start on this one. So there's our second pass. Let's get to grinding. Okay, so we got our second joint done. We got it all beveled. If you come in here, you can see we beveled it clear down to the original joint. Probably take us two passes to fill it up. Let's do it. Okay, so that's probably close enough to full that I'm just gonna start overlaying 
that with weld. I've got to go down probably to about right there. A little from there. Okay, so we got this all built up. Now we're going to take the new teeth. We've got to weld the new teeth on. Four new teeth on each row. And there's kind of a science as to how the teeth need to be. They need to be leaned a little forward. And you got to make sure that when they're, as they're going around, cutting through the ground, that they wear on the right spot. And there's kind of a learning curve to that, but. We're going to tack these teeth on see if we can't get them welded out tonight. Okay, so I got all these teeth tacked on. I think I got them all where I like them. So now, just gotta weld them out, and then after I weld them out, gotta hard face them. Okay, so I got our teeth all welded out, triple past them. Um, I had to swap out the wire in the welder and now I'm going to hard face them. Hard facing wire is just really hard wire. It's high in different types of metal, chromium and nickel, um, and it wears really good. So they use it a lot for heavy equipment, drilling. So I've got to hard face the reamer now so that it wears well and doesn't doesn't wear out after running it for an hour. So let's do some hard face. Okay, so we got our reamer done. We hit it with a wire wheel. You don't really need to do that because after they run it through the ground for about five minutes, all the spatter and the berries are all knocked off anyway, but I'm just kind of anal for when I send it to the customer. I want it to look nice, so I hit it with a wire wheel. 
Just some uh, history for this reamer. This is rebuilt. These teeth right here have never touched the dirt. So they brought me the reamer and we can show you some pictures. I stripped it completely down, welded new teeth on it, hard faced it, sent it back to the customer. Well, they wanted to replace the shank and they couldn't get it off. So then he brought it back and that's why he wanted me to weld this on. Weld the new shank on and then overlay it, weld more teeth on it, hard face it, and there you have it. So thanks for watching. Okay, so that's one pass there. Get in here and look at the weld. You can see. Ready? Huh? Okay. Okay, so we got the first pass in. We're gonna want run a little bit. Okay. I'll cut this out of the video. Go again. <laughs>